I'm going to have you just stop, and then she's going to kind of roll, and then we'll take another step. Okay, and then she's going to rotate around, and then you take another step. Okay? Oh, are the lines And then you're just like going like to hold it. You're just going to hold it out like this, like you're just the sun. Okay? And everything goes around you. <laughs> okay? All right, guys, are we ready? Eclipse is coming, the eclipse is coming, the eclipse is coming. I've seen 20 all over the world. All seven continents. Who knows those seven continents? Yay! Did you know there were six oceans? I've seen six oceans too. It's just a, such a feeling in my soul that I'm so grateful to be there and so happy to see it, and enough that I'm sort of addicted to them. I'm addicted to that feeling of that being that for those few seconds or minutes, being one with the universe and being really present and feeling it. And then of course, there's always the planning for the next one. My life is measured in eclipses. Happen, like all the light just starts to pop back out. What do we do here? Glasses on. I'm oh, sorry, glass, yeah, glasses back on. Yeah. This is flares from the sun. You know the sun is a big ball of energy in the, in the sky, right? Okay, so be looking for that when you're looking at the moon. Okay, when you're looking at the eclipse, look for that. So the motto is no child left inside. So that's why I've been talking to schools, chamber of commerces, anybody that's willing to listen, anyone that wants to talk on finding out more about the solar eclipse, I'm giving talks because that's my goal, is to get more people interested in it so they don't miss this wonderful opportunity. What? If you don't wear your glasses and you're watching You'll go blind. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Where are the glasses, guys? I think it's interesting just to see it and like how the sun and the earth and the moon are just going to be like aligned where it's going to one spot and just, I just really like it. I think it's going to be scary because it's going to be very dark at like daytime and I've never seen an eclipse so my parents are scared too because they also never seen an eclipse either. Um, my mom's planning on making homemade moon pies and we're all, my sister and I think my grandma's even coming over so we can all watch the solar eclipse. So my first one in North America was the 1991. My second one in North America was the 2017, and this will be my third. But I've been to Europe for one of them. I've now gone to Africa twice. I've gone to Australia three times. I've gone to Antarctica twice. I've gone to Asia three times. I think that counts for Indonesia. And I'm not sure that adds up to 20. I'm missing, oh, and, and a several, couple of oceans. There were a couple of them that we were in the middle of the Atlantic or the middle of the Pacific. It wasn't on land anywhere. I'm not seeing any sunspots right now, though. To go. Be used. My friends and family know that there's a total solar eclipse coming. Just, you know, Letitia's going. Just Letitia's going. Um, I have had a couple of things in my life that were kind of challenges. One is when my first husband died in 2010. I really seriously considered the, so he died in June. There was a total solar eclipse in South America that I hadn't even booked for because we were dealing with his health issues. And he passed and I just said, you know what? I watched his dreams die with him and I'm not gonna let my dreams die. So I went to the 2010 by myself. Well, this is my vision board for my life. I want to see every solar eclipse on the face of the planet. So I have a map of all of them from 2010 to 2060. So I come and study this every now and then just go, okay, I saw that one. Oh, we're looking further than that one. And then I have my wonderful husband, me on the beach. This was our first eclipse together on the Great Barrier Reef in the Sandy Cay right after that. So he's right now the center of my life, except for eclipses. I did put the eclipses higher than him. <laughs> that one's good. Yeah, yep, go back that way. Go back that way, okay. I 
like I like this. You like that one? Because you can see the magnetic. Well, you can see the magnetic fields. Oh, that's right. Because this is a minimal. Because this is how this is you know just right before totality. Yeah, that's before totality. You just get that real thin line. That's when you start getting the shadow bands. And then this is when it's just starting to peek through. You got a little bit of Bailey's beads. Um, after my first husband passed, I put myself on eHarmony a year later. And on my eHarmony profile, I put, I am going to see every total solar eclipse on the face of the planet till the day I die. And hopefully, and I don't know what my next relationship is, but I'll be doing that. So I figure a lot of people self-selected, the ones that didn't know what it was were just like, yeah, that one's crazy. The ones that knew how much, what it was and how much it cost, they went away. Daniel was the one that went ahead and looked me up online, saw my videos and said, that's pretty cool. And then reached out to me and we've been together ever since. Well, I, I, it, I, I didn't even understand it until we started doing it. And it's, it's a lot of effort to try to see an eclipse. And, and I just had no idea. I, I think this is going to be the first eclipse that we didn't have to take two airplanes to at least to get to. Or in a long ride and two buses and whatever to get to. Cover up your flash, so at least during that time you won't flash during totality. And the reason you don't... Oh, that's good. That's good. Did everybody recognize... Everybody recognize you too. You know, you don't have to be... I'm not a scientist, but I love science. I love what it does for us. I love the fact that in 1878, the last time that the eclipse came through Texas, they had to use geometry and math and a sextant and calculate their position from the stars. All I have to do is look at my phone. I love technology. It makes it so, it's so much easier to see an eclipse now than back in 1991.